Well guys, the time has come. I've officially updated my website. As you can see, it looks a lot more simple. And I've also added some new shirts. As you can see, they're epic. They're also on sale. The Liberal Tears mugs and everything, the original is still on there. And I actually have something very special to show you guys. I have one in real life. So here it is. This is what it looks like. As you can see, it's printed extremely high quality. And um, what I didn't know is that I actually have it on both sides. So if you're right-handed or left-handed, uh, you'll be able to see a little tears mug from either side. And don't forget, you can also order it without the smiley face if you don't like that. Uh, but it's actually the most popular one, which is pretty funny. So here you go. Here it is. Check out the new website. You can read the description if you want. Check it out. Thank you, guys. Let's get into the video. See you later. Uh, Sean, uh, several topics. Uh, one, I have... <laughs> Shocker. <laughs> don't be. Um, you heard the question that I lobbed at the Attorney General about the hate crime uh, that happened in New York. Mm -hmm. uh, the white supremacist who went to New York and targeted a black man. Uh, hate crimes are on the rise. What do, what do you say? What is this White House saying about this obvious apparent hate crime? I'm not going to, I mean, you're at, you, you yelled at the, the Attorney General a specific case, if I'm not correct. In the past to talk about uh, this, and you've talked about issues of right, hate crimes. I'm glad to talk about the issue. I just want to be very clear uh -huh. that I'm not going to reference any specific case before the DOJ right now. Um, I will say that the President um, has recognized that we need to bring the country together. Um, he wants to unite this country. He wants to bring people together. He had a very long conversation with respect to race in itself, uh, which I think is somewhat if I'm not correct in your question. Oh, it is. There, okay, I just want to be clear. Thank you. And I think that was one of the topics that he talked about with the CBC. Um, some of the issues with respect to crime and education and uh, some of the solutions that they suggested that could be done during their meeting. And I think those are the kind of things that I think we can, can start, we can continue that conversation. Sean, um, unfortunately there's been a rise in hate crimes when it comes to different groups to include anti-Semitic crimes. Yeah, and we um, it, but you've commented from that podium. This is clear. This gentleman in his jailhouse gave a statement to a reporter talking about he wishes the man were younger and were he was a thug um, that he killed. So, what do you say to this? This is clear. It's racism at its ugliest. Yeah, two issues. Number one, I think hate crimes, anti-Semitic crimes of any nature, should be called out in the most reprehensible way. Um, there is no room for that in our country, and I think the President noted that in the joint address, that there is one issue that, despite policy, should unite us, and that is calling out hate, that is calling out divisiveness based on the color of one's skin, one's religion, one's gender. The President's been very clear on that, and he's called it out before. He's, with respect to certain particular situations, he made it very clear at the opening of his joint address, that's what he led with, is a call to, to denounce hate no matter where we come from politically. He's also talked about it the night that he uh, took the stage on that Wednesday morning around 2.40 a.m. about how one of the things that he needed to do and wanted to do as president was unite all Americans. But I think that there's one other piece to this, April, that I just want to be clear on. While we unequivocally, no question about it, need to call out hate, anti-Semitism where it exists, there is another thing that we have to do, and in your case in particular, while I don't know all of the details and I don't want to reference any specific case. But I think we saw this the other day with some of the anti-Semitic behavior that was going out um, with respect to people of the Jewish faith, is that we saw these threats coming into Jewish community centers and there was an immediate jump to criticize folks on the right and to denounce us, denounce people on the right and ask them to condemn them. And it turns out that in fact it wasn't someone on the right and it was the, and the president from the get-go had said, I bet you it's not someone, and he was right. And yet, I'm oh no, I understand that. And that's, I'm saying he's a white supremacist. I understand I that, and I think in those cases, there's no question, black and white, we need to call out all instances of this. But that being said, while we're on the topic, I do think that there has been a, a rush to judgment in a lot of other cases when it comes to, in particular, some of the anti-Semitic discussion, <laughs> where people have jumped to the conclusion about denouncing people on the right and asking for this. And in that particular case, we saw that the president was right and that this rush to judgment by a lot of folks on the left was wrong and none of them have been held to account on that. And that is something that equally needs to be called out. When people are charging something of someone that is not true, there has been nothing to go back to those individuals. Nothing on the left who came and asked for everyone on the right to denounce something that they weren't guilty of. And I think that there needs to be an equal go back in time and call out those individuals 
for, for rushing to judgment and to calling out those individuals. And my second topic, and I'm done. Um, uh, someone who was in the room, you like talking about this CBC meeting that happened last week, uh, someone who was actually in the room uh, at that meeting uh, said that uh, the issue of HBCUs came up, and that's a very sensitive subject right now uh, in the black community and here at the White House. Uh, the issue of HBCUs came up, and it's uh, Omarosa said that she would be the one heading uh, the HBCU office at the White House, and the president did not uh, make a response, <coughs> confirming or denying. Will this be the case? Is this the case? I, I, we don't have any uh, announcements to make. I, I assume that you're referring to the executive order, um, and we don't have anything to announce on that subject at this time. Chris was aware of that that existed. That got zero reporting. Number two, when he went out yesterday and said, quote, I think it's very possible, you don't include that in the question mark. The bottom line is, is that the president said last night that he will be providing, that there would be additional information coming forward. He's, there's a ton of media reports out there that indicate that something was going on during the 26th election. And I think it's interesting. Where was the questioning of the New York Times or these other outlets when that was going on? Where was the question? I, I believe you will. Jim. Yeah, you were just quoting uh, Sean Hannity there. Uh, the House and Senate Intelligence Committees are I also quoted, FBI. You know, you know, I, I get uh, you're going to cherry pick. FBI director, you're, you're citing Sean Hannity. No, no, okay. You also Department. look over, you also tend to overlook all of the other sources that, because I know you want to cherry pick it. But, it, no, no, but, but you do. But where was your concern about the New York Times reporting? You didn't seem to have a concern with that. We have done, we have done plenty of reporting on all of this. No, no, so but, but you want to cherry pick connections between one, one commentary, one piece president, of commentary. Associates of the president to the Russians, that has all been looked at. No, wait, how do you know all this? The, the, that, how do you seem to be such an expert in this? I'm saying that this has been looked at, Sean. How, how do you know it, it's been looked at? Been hold on, hold on. Where, where is, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm afraid to understand. Where Can you tell me how you know that all of this has, quote, been looked at? You're asking me whether You or not made a it's statement, you said, quote, all of this or has been looked outlet, at. Other outlets have reported. No, no. So, okay. So, we're supposed, so when your outlet says it's all been looked at, the president and, and the Russians during the 2016 campaign, it sounds like during the context of that investigation, there might have been some intercepted communications. The House Intelligence Committee chairman did mention that, and we have reported that. Others have reported that uh, in, on our air and in various publications. But Sean, what you are what you are refusing to answer, the question that you're refusing to answer is whether or not the president still No, I'm not refusing. I just said it to Jonathan. I didn't refuse to answer when you that. Have, you have a Senate and House Intelligence Committee, both leaders from both parties on both of those panels saying that they don't see any evidence of any wiretapping. So how can the president go on and continue Because that's not because things? you're mischaracterizing what Chairman Nunez said. He said, quote, I think it's possible he's following up on this. So to suggest that... Is, is actually, and you, so you're said, stating said, unequivocally said, that you somehow. Literally, he said, if you take the right, and I think that we've already cleared that up. Wrong. And he said exactly that. But the president has already said clearly when he referred to wiretapping, right. he was referring to surveillance. Sounds, so that's. Like, but it sounds like Sean that okay. you and the president are saying now. Well, we don't mean wiretapping anymore. No, because that's we, not true anymore. We, no, no, so we, now we're no, no, that's that not. Other forms of surveillance. What's it going to be next? No, no, oh, Jim, I, I think that's cute, but at the end of the day, we've talked about this for three or four days. What the, par the president had the quote wiretapping, in quotes, he was referring to broad surveillance, and now you're basically going back. We talked about this several days ago. The bottom line is, is that the, the investigation by the House and the Senate has not been provided all of the, the information. And when it does, but where was the concern? Hold on. I just reports, not, not evidence, no, no, no. Not what I, I think the president addressed that last night and said there's more to come. These are merely pointing out that I think there's widespread reporting that throughout the 2016 election there was surveillance that was done on a variety of people that there was came an up. Going no, how on do you, into Jim? I, I find it interesting that you you somehow believe that of you. Of course, they're going to be looking okay. at these, these various things. Okay, I, I get it. And somehow. You, you seem to believe that you have all of this information. You've been read in on all of these things, which I find very interesting. Well, I have been read in by the FBI. Well, so no, you're coming to some serious conclusions for a guy that has zero intelligence uh, class. <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> I'll give you some credit. I'll Sorry. give you some. A little intelligence, maybe. But no, but Clearance. What I'm is that I wasn't those, done. Those, Clearance. Those two, those two panels. Maybe both. Well, come on. Those two panels have spoken with the FBI director, and I, I understand there's that. no evidence of this. Okay, so I, I think just, I, this question has been asked and answered, Jim. As far as because, just having because the president say it's interesting wrong. how you jump to all of these conclusions about what they have, what they don't have, and you seem to know all the answers. But at the end of the day, there was clearly a ton of reporting. Hold on, Jim. Let me answer. No, I, I, I think that 
there's been a, a vast amount of reporting, which I just detailed, about activity that was going on in the 2016 election. There's no question that there were surveillance techniques used throughout this. I think by, by a variety of outlets that have reported this activity concluded. So, and I think when you actually ask those two people whether or not, and as Chairman Nunes says yesterday, when you take it literally in wiretapping, the president's already been very clear that he didn't mean specifically wiretapping. He had it in quotes. So I think to fall back on that is a false is a false premise. That's not what he said. He was very clear about that when he talked about it yesterday. Major. Uh, a lot of these kids are uh, young, uh, high school, talk to some high school kids, talk to some college kids, and then there's some older adults, some like, uh, so Trump's a racist seems to be the main, the main thing they keep preaching. It's interesting, these guys are carrying a uh, come and take it flag, and they're the anybody but Trump party. I asked them about the Second Amendment, and they're like, this flag can mean a lot of things. Well, it actually literally means um, they put that up to the Mexican soldiers and said, come take their cannon. <laughs> so, so it just shows how little history these guys know. And now the Black Lives Matter, Matter chants have started. They're doing All Lives Matter, and then they switched to Black Lives Matter at one point. So there's still people back behind the barrier. The protesters have definitely grown. I'd say they probably doubled in size from earlier, and Trump has not shown up yet, to my knowledge. I bet I, I think he'll come through the back way. I don't think he's going to come this front way. So uh, anyway, everybody's getting access to the porta potties, though. So you still see the protesters by the sign. They hate the billionaires, don't know about Soros. <clears throat> Here they come. <laughs> Just a smattering of what's been going on most of the day. But the march has grown. More people are joining it. And it looks like some people are coming down. More people are joining this as we speak. It's getting bigger and bigger. Well, there you get a... So that's just a quick clip of what's coming up tonight. And here we go. You would be an excellent pilot with the way you handle that airplane. Diverse crowd. Are you joining the protest? Yeah, I'm with the Veterans for Trump cool. protest. All right. And anything to get rid of Paul Ryan, our most hated congressman here in Wisconsin. Yeah, hopefully they say there's a plan to do that. Oh, yeah, well, we don't know how to do that since the voting system is so corrupt. Right. We think the electronic machines get their wires crossed, and they're worried about our... Uh, I'm sure that's all by enemies. accident, too. Yeah, that's by accident. If the vote's running in the wrong direction, they just twist them, I think. <laughs> <laughs> that's how they keep us controlled. Yeah, that's how. That and dropping bombs on us so they can protect us. Yeah, exactly. All right, well, thanks for talking <laughs> to me. Have a good one. All right, so, yeah, some veterans for Trump have joined the... Hey, I have uh, a story for you, InfoWars. I need to talk Oh, to yeah, you. what do you got? I should be inside the Trump rally right now, and I'm not. You just talked to me earlier. Yeah, they kicked you out. And what does my, my sign say? Right. Love Trump's hate. They kicked me out. I went up there peacefully. I have a ticket to this event. They kicked me out on the grounds that it's a private event and it's private property and I got kicked off. They are racially profiling people at the door. I watched a group of people get kicked out behind me who were wearing nothing. They had no signs, nothing. They were racially selected and profiled and removed off the property. Well, I, I, I saw a couple of black people go into the event, if that's what you're referring to, but they did kick out a girl with face paint on that said no hate. They kicked out a young couple, is what I'm referring I think that they are age discriminating, to be honest with you. But the thing is, is how, freedom is not free when you can't walk into an election. Like, you can't walk into it. Sorry, it's so busy out here. Freedom's not free when you can't walk in and listen to a presidential candidate speak, even in peace. I came here with no Bernie stuff. I was not bringing this sign in. I was very aware of the fact that I was just going to go and peacefully listen to him talk. They removed me from the property and laughed in my face and are handpicking whoever gets to go inside. How free is our country when you can't even listen to a candidate speak? 
I just need to know that. Well, I think what's going on is there have been so many events disrupted that they're preemptively selecting people who they think are going to cause trouble. That's and I'm not saying you're going to cause trouble. That's true, but like... And because people blame Trump for when violence happens at his events. They say it's Trump's fault. But Trump didn't tell people to show up and start stuff at his events. Right, but those people that showed up that quote-unquote started stuff were not doing anything either. They were standing there in peace, and then the Trump's people agitated them, right? That's what happened. So, I mean, I just need to stress, like, this cannot be considered an event that's actually being run on a level of fairness or equality, which is the whole reason I was here today, was to, was to, was to see that, was to challenge that, was to at, question that. And the fact that I couldn't even get into the rally and I'm not even doing anything wrong speaks volumes, just speaks volumes. I think, the, I think the people need to know that their rights are being stripped away. I'm about to upload this video, so they're going to know. Thank you very much. Right, have a good one. Thanks, InfoWars. So there you go. Kicked out of a private event for... Stopping by to remind you that liberals are insane. <laughs> Social justice warriors are becoming more violent and triggered than ever before. Anyways, be sure to subscribe to KGP TV on YouTube and have a blessed day. Yeah, man.